Hey, Tactical Painter, welcome back out to the Suits Crafting Woodshop. This is Shop Top Tuesday number five, I believe, and uh, I know that it's actually coming to you on Wednesday. Tuesday was actually my daughter's birthday, and so I did not come out to the shop at all. I promised her we were going to have just a full day. We had lunch with family and friends. We had dinner with family, and we just had a full day celebrating her third birthday. So it was really exciting. It was a wonderful day. I enjoyed spending time with the family. It's things you got to do to make sacrifice. You know, family time is really important to me, and it should be important to everyone. It's a wonderful thing. Your family needs to see you, and when you work for a full-time job and you do the side business, they don't always get to see you as often if, if times are busy. And uh, so you've got to make sure that you spend time with your family. Get out there, spend time with your family. And uh, I certainly did. We had a wonderful time yesterday. We got up this morning and we went and got coffee and I got her a cocoa and she loved it. And uh, it's snowing here in Portland, Oregon and she just loves watching the snow fall and getting out and playing in it. And so we had a great time with that this morning. But now I'm out to the shop working on a couple of things I'm going to talk about and then uh, we'll get it going. We got some stuff gluing up. I'm wrapping up an order. Had about uh, five pens that I've got to wrap up for a customer. And then I've also got um, two pens gluing up. One of them's gluing up behind me. I've got another one over here at my little uh, painting station. I've got the tubes painted and then the interior painted. Um, did a, uh, an angel eye with pink uh, casting for a customer that uh, wanted to get one of those pink, um, what was it? it was cotton candy and flamingo pink pearlex powder and then cotton candy alumilite powder um, and then I mix that in with some angelite holographic dust from solar color dust and mix that all together and it makes just an awesome blank. I've got, I've got an extra one over here I'll show you. So it makes, makes one of these brilliant pink uh, blanks and they're really fantastic. You guys might remember this from one of my 90 second casting videos which I'll throw up here in the corner and then also I've got uh, the nurse's click pen, the, the fancy magnetic, or not magnetic, the fancy click pen uh, that I got from Penn State. I threw that video up. I'll throw that link up there too. So I did one of those and those already. A customer contacted me, asked if I still had that blank because she saw the 90 second casting. I said, unfortunately not. I already made the pen for that and I even put that up on YouTube. But I can replicate it because I still got plenty of the stuff. So I've got an extra one of those sitting around just in case that first one doesn't turn out. Just in case it blows up or, or I can see the brass tubes through it. I'm painting the tubes on it, but you know, if sometimes when you glue it in, some of the paint will move or scratch or, or stuff and it doesn't turn out right. When I did the nurse's pen, if you look at the photos, and I'll see if I can throw a photo up here, um, one end of it, you could kind of see a discoloration. It kind of had like an orange tone to it. And so that was because that section got thin. And when you deal with pigment powders, they're in, in a clear base. Base is still clear, so you can see through your pigment powders if there isn't enough concentration of them in there. And it's really hard to get enough concentration uh, unless you really just dump it in. But then you can have issues with your casting. Bubbles can't escape. You have other things that go on. So the best thing to do is to paint it another color. So usually I paint with black. Um, but I want to make sure that I get that bright pink um, going for it. And so what I actually did, I'll grab it here. I got this at the store recently. Uh, and I actually did this. Remember the mailbox from last week? Uh, I, I got this for that mailbox. We painted it all light pink. That was what you guys saw. And then we went over with this um, Shimmer Metallic Candy Raz. And I don't know if you can see the lid there, but really cool color. Really turned out really nice, and I really liked it. And, you know, they're not close. They're not perfect. This is more of kind of, it's got a little bit of uh, purple magenta to it. Uh, but it's close enough that if... I get thin with this, this is going to be an editor pen, so that is a thin um, blank that's left over when you turn it down. Anything that shows through is going to be this metallic shimmer uh, raz, candy raz. So it's going to give it kind of a magenta pinkish effect instead of turning it orange from the brass. So that's going to be a better option. So behind me I've got this pen gluing up and uh, it's all cured up now, it's just got to sit overnight. But this is just a, a 
deep blue with uh, pearl added to it. This is actually going to be a gift to a soldier. My customer's got a soldier that's going to be going overseas and working uh, overseas for a while. And so she's giving this to him as a going away present. So this is going to be really exciting. It's going to be an editor pen with a G2 conversion in gun metal. So we've got that gluing up. Uh, and then we'll, tomorrow we'll be able to turn that. So that's pretty exciting. Uh, she ordered for herself that, that pink pen that I was showing you earlier. So she's going to get that going. So one other thing that we've got going on out in the shop. I actually got a delivery. I got this package. This was, These are um, hollow flakes. I'm testing out some of my own hollow flakes. Um, in order to find like good hollow flakes for doing the galaxy blanks, if you guys are looking for your own hollow flakes to find the galaxy blanks, check out Amazon. You've got to go into the sections for like doing nails and things because this stuff is actually really prevalent in the nail industry. You can find it all over the place. And then you just got to kind of start looking through, seeing what has the right size, um, particles and stuff and and looking at pictures and things of a lot of acrylic nails uh, that they're applying this stuff to and seeing what works so I've found a couple of suppliers um, that I'm going to try out and and so far these are actually cheaper than buying from places like Solar Color Dust and even from getting it from NV Woodworks. Um, love Zach over there he's supplying this stuff if you want to just not have to deal with any of the hassle of trying this stuff out Check out Zach's page uh, at NV Woodworks. He's got Starlight Powder, uh, or Starlight, what is it, what does he call it? Uh, Star, Stardust. He's got Stardust over there at NV Woodworks. Go check him out if you don't want to deal with any of the hassle. But I'm testing out some other um, holographic flakes and things and seeing if I can find something to save you guys a little bit of money. And then I'm going to start selling those blanks uh, on my Etsy store. Uh, and that'll, that'll save some cost. Well, that about wraps it up for this week's Shop Talk Tuesday on Wednesday. Uh, not a whole lot to actually uh, talk about, discuss. I've got those five pens that I'm wrapping up for one order, and then these two new ones that came in. So I haven't had a whole lot of time to work with like my G2 conversion uh, experiments or any of my um, skyscapes or my spectacles of the sky blanks. I, I wish I did, but I'd, I'd love to have more to report for you guys. But it's just been busy. I've been doing a lot of orders out here in the shop, and then I've also got a guy out on vacation at my office, so I've been having to cover out for his shifts, too. So it's it's been unfortunate. I'd love to get out here and do more for you guys, so that way you can see how things are going. Um, last night, I actually had just this gorgeous sunset. I'll throw that up here. We were going out to dinner, and uh, we were meeting up with family for dinner for my daughter's birthday, and we got this gorgeous sunset. It was just beautiful. It had pinks and oranges and blue sky, these cirrus clouds up high in the sky that were all wispy and stuff. And this is the exact look that I was wanting to go for for one of my uh, spectacles of the sky blank. So if you guys like the look of that and want to see if I can replicate it, go ahead and you know leave your comments in the, the comment section below or go up here and vote in the top corner and we'll uh, We'll see if we can't get something like that going because that's that's like almost just the perfect look for what I'm going for. So we'll go ahead and sign off now right there at that. Just a quick short video. Just wanted to update you guys on a couple of the things we're working on in the shop. I wish I had more to report, um, but that's just where we're sitting at. Sometimes you just have weeks like that. So thanks so much for joining me out here in the shop. Be sure to subscribe. I'll throw a subscribe button up here in the middle. Check out some of my other videos here on the side. This is Tactical Painter out in the Seuss Crafting Woodshop freezing his rear off. <laughs> Signing out.